Hey, it's Valerie. Uh, welcome to Westport Woods Conservation Park, a, one of the destination properties of the Westport Land Conservation Trust, of which I am a board member and delighted to welcome you into the woods in my favorite WLCT property that I love because I live across the street and get to walk here almost every day. So right now I want to introduce you to one of my favorite spots in Westport Woods uh, Community Conservation Park. This is the kind of the back of the main trail through the woods that you can enter through different points off the meadow. And um, this trail is uh, right here is notable for this beautiful Pinus strobus uh, eastern white pine which Brendan and I were just discussing how old it might be, extending back into the 19th century, quite likely over 100 years old. Um, it's very majestic. It's very open uh, for a ways up, and it stands out among the other trees, and there's a lot of open understory, so a lot of sunlight comes through down here. And this wonderful pine leaves a beautiful, uh, pine needle path uh, for a, an expanse of the trail and as you're walking along it can become very fragrant as the pine needle aroma uh, comes up in the warmth and the sunshine and it also gets soft um, it has this beautiful russet color so this is one of my favorite stretches to walk along um, and it also is very fragrant in midsummer as the uh, summer sweet uh, the sweet pepper bush, which line either side of the trail uh, bloom. Um, as you can see, it's like a little canyon going through uh, the sweet pepper bush, and that is a, a delight. And then another special thing is um, right across from here is a beautiful, majestic American holly, a very tall, open uh, specimen. And that um, is very welcoming and inviting right here. Uh, the leaves shining all year round. And right next to it, there's a special feature I want to show you. Um, so, oh, and just beyond it, a little birch, uh, this curly bark. Um, so this is a wonderful gateway to a trail that is under construction, a very special trail um, that is yet to come. But one of the great things um, is that while sadly um, this oak fell uh, in a storm, while cleaning it up, um, the, the land trust made this special little cubby, which I and others like to put rocks and interesting things in so you and the family can come by and look for what's in there and leave something there, take something out. And sometimes I and someone else like to leave little rock sculptures down here. Um, this base is a wonderful base to leave special things on. Um, so as you walk in here, look for little natural arrangements of rocks and branches and leaves and twigs. Um, so this is a very special feature. And then as you follow the trail, down east a little bit. As you can see, there's a fork. I'll walk where these hollies are. And that is a, a wonderful little path to a certified vernal pool. Um, and a vernal pool is, of course, a pool that forms uh, seasonally because of snow melt and spring rains. And it is where uh, salamanders and frogs uh, lay their eggs and hatch their young. So it's a very rich, fertile, magical place. And at this pool on April 7th, uh, the Land Trust will be hosting a Facebook Live Vernal Pool Exploration. So look for that on Facebook and sign in to, to learn about and watch some of the magic of this Vernal Pool. Thank you.